Dennis, I was intrigued to read that mead is the oldest alcoholic drink in the world. Just how old is it and what is it? So uh, mead is uh, fermented from honey. Okay, so you're using the natural sugars in honey, you're adding water and you're adding a wine yeast in our case, and then you're fermenting the sugars in the honey into alcohol. Mead, mead's origins actually go back several thousand years. We often think of mead being associated with Robin Hood and Friar Tuck and the Vikings and so on, but actually its origins are in China and in India several thousand years ago. So is the whole fermentation process like creating a wine and using the grapes? And, and if so, is it the same amount of time or is it a quicker process? It's very similar to wine in many ways. Instead of fermenting grapes or grape juice, you're fermenting honey. And you're also fermenting honey and fruit. The fruit meads in particular, you know, we bottle after about six months. Some of the other meads we do, we've aged up to two and a half, three years at this stage. Of course, it would be rude not to try some for myself, so Dennis kindly set up a little tasting session. We have two styles uh, of, of mead that we do here. One is just fermented from honey only, that's the golden colours. And the other ones are, are, are called melamel mead, so those are fruits and honey fermented together. So we'll start with the uh, wildflower uh, mead, which is the, uh, this one here. So this is a medium sweet mead, it, it has the uh, blossom flavours of the honey. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's very light. Moving on to the wild red mead. Yeah, so the wild red mead is, is a melamel mead. So this is actually Wexford black currants, dark sweet cherries, and it's a forest honey. Oh, it does have that port taste, all right. But much lighter than the port. So next we have the hazy summer mead. Yeah, so the hazy summer mead is a, there are six different berries in this. The predominant flavor is strawberry, raspberry, and blackberry. Oh, that's really good. That's quite a strong taste in comparison to the other two. It is, it's definitely a lot more fruitier and this is really one that you could have sort of lightly chilled, you could pour over ice with berries, have it, we sometimes call it our Celtic sangria. Yes, you can imagine that being a huge hit um, at a party. And then we're going to finish up with the Atlantic dry mead. So the Atlantic dry mead was the first mead we made and this is, this is made with Spanish orange blossom honey. This is an unusual taste. Yeah, there's a kind of almost a eucalyptusy, slightly medicinal kick to it. Thank you so much uh, for teaching You're me the very welcome. of mead. Thank you.